That was Joe Black. Well, Andrew Gwynn is in the Shadow Cabinet as Shadow Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government and joins me now. Hello. Pretty shocking state of affairs for any, any call for the abolition of a whole council. I think it's virtually unprecedented. I've never seen a report like this or indeed like the uh, KPMG auditor's report from uh, about a month ago. It's very clear that Northamptonshire has been totally mismanaged by the Conservative administration there. But the Conservative government can't be let off the hook either because they've let it get to the extent where a council has effectively declared itself bankrupt and they've let this situation uh, go unnoticed under their control. But th isn't this a local issue? And the report makes it quite clear. The council was, was pretty badly run throughout and they were doing even the boring stuff badly. Well, absolutely. And as I say, it's a combination of mismanagement nationally, where we will have seen by 2020 massive cuts in local government. There will be a funding shortfall across England of £5.8 billion after uh, almost a decade of austerity. And that is having an impact on councils of all political persuasions and complexions, the length and breadth of the country. But it's worse because in Northamptonshire, they've effectively followed the former community secretary, Eric Pickle's advice, and that was to uh, de diminish your reserves, uh, to sell off all your assets. Well, of course, you can only do both of those things once. Once you've sold everything that you own and once you've uh, used all of your reserves, you've got no more money left and you have to make the tough choices that other councils have been making for the last eight years. Northampton just points out they are not the only council with these sorts of difficulties. Absolutely, and uh, what's frightening is the National Audit Office only last week commissioned a report that shows that uh, if the cuts continue from central government, that around one in ten of England's councils will be in a similar predicament over the next three years. It really is the case that children's and adult services, the pressures that are increasing in both those areas that most people don't use, but they are vital local services, are pushing councils to towards the financial cliff edge and unless we get more investment from central government to help fund local services Northamptonshire will be the first but it won't be the last council to effectively go bankrupt. Andrew while you're here and I, I know politicians hate to hear that but w with your shadow cabinet hat on just wondering where you stand we've had Jeremy Corbyn your leader today saying that all the evidence points to Russia being responsible for the Salisbury attack we've had the uh, Shadow Defence Secretary uh, Neil Griffith, Griffith being much stronger, saying she accepted Russia was responsible and saying Theresa May had done the right thing. Where, where do you stand on this? Well, look, any chemical attack on in our country uh, should be condemned uh, unreservedly, and we condemn it because it is an atrocious attack. What is clear is the evidence points to Russia either being uh, responsible or culpable. We support the measures that the Prime Minister has put in place, but we want to go further. We think that there should be much stronger sanctions on financial transactions, uh, making sure that Russian money uh, is stopped uh, in this country, uh, and that we have tighter controls on all of those mechanisms. So we do condemn uh, what's happened in Salisbury. We support the government's measures, but we want the government to go further. And, when, and you point the finger firmly at Russia. Well, Russia is, uh, and the Prime Minister has said this, and Jeremy Corbyn has acknowledged this uh, himself. Well, Russia he has is... He? I mean, he, the, he, he hasn't gone that strongly. Well, yes, he has. Uh, if you look back at what he said in the House of Commons, if you look at the post that he's uh, put on social media, we make it very clear that the Russian authorities are either directly responsible or they are culpable because they have lost control of this chemical agent. In either uh, respect, it is uh, something that ought to be condemned, ought to be fully investigated, and we ought to be using whatever sanctions are available to this country to make it very clear to the Russian authorities that an attack like this in the United Kingdom is unacceptable. And given the severity of where we're at, with, with what is a, a hugely important and significant international situation developing, do you now back the government? Is this a time for national unity, if you like? 
Well, we've always backed the government in the measures that they've announced in the House of Commons. We think they should go further on things like uh, financial sanctions, and we will support them to make sure uh, that that happens. Uh, what is absolutely clear from all sides of the House and from the Shadow Cabinet and the leader of the Labour Party is that this attack is rightly condemned and we will do all we can to make sure that those that have perpetrated it are brought to justice. Andrew Gwynne, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thank you.